This playthrough is rated T for teen. Hope we don't get lost in these woods. Greetings and salutations, viewers of all of my back here with another episode of Dark Cloud. In the last episode, we built the town in its perfect form, everything in its place. Learned about fishing and went to Matataki Village and found some weird dude with like a club and a bear cape and cowl there. And uh, we're going to go check it out. But before that, I forgot one last treasure here. Um, there might be another one I'm missing. Like, a, uh, see, I don't think they ever drop them at the... Uh, windmills and stuff like that no okay anyway yeah we got a fish candy there so let's give that to Zhao so she can uh, get all beefy there yeah look at that a lot of defense not as much as towing but hey it'll work so all right anyway back to uh um uh, back to Matataki I think it's called Matataki hold on yeah Matataki I don't know why I was I was thinking I was saying it wrong there for a second but there you go but yeah, we're done with the Drain Village. You can always go back if you want to fight like weaker uh, creatures to like grind for money and stuff like that. That's probably the well, I mean, at least early in the game, it's probably the best place to go to just because saving money on buying repair powders. Because yeah, we have to do that now. We can't just get free stuff from the mayor. So uh, off screen, I use my tram oils um, to go back into the back areas of the Drain, try to get some items. Didn't really get much. I got like an opal. Um, Got another uh, Gladius for, um, or Gladius, I already pronounced it for Toan, which I'm going to equip that and start working on that. Um, I got my dagger, whoops, um, I got my dagger to level 5 and, and since sphered it, so because, um, one, it was easy, to, I was already at plus 2, so I just did a little bit of that, but two, um, since sphering uh, the dagger tends to give you quite a bit of speed, so if you want speed for your weapons, that's the way to go. And the fact you'll always get a dagger back no matter what. So one of the best methods is just, at least in the early game, is just beefing up the dagger, since varying the dagger, putting it into the dagger again, and just keep repeating that till you get other weapon drops and stuff like that. So that's probably how they designed it in the first place. So anyway, let's put the sense sphere here. Yeah, look at that. It just just booms up your, uh, uh, your uh, speed. So you can easily max out your speed with a dagger. Um, and then let's just put like a... Uh, um, topaz in there just to max it out so that'll be good oh wait I was gonna actually gonna break down my um, since fear my gladius here because I'm not gonna because that's at plus five already so let's status break that nice and then we'll just yeah put that put those into my uh, weapon here so Oh, you can only, that's right, you can only do one at a time, so you either choose one or the other. Um, uh, that just seems like the, uh, just doing the pure Gladius is probably the best for now. So, yeah, I forgot you could only, yeah, the blue, that blue, little blue sphere there, I forgot to mention that before. The blue sphere is for synth spheres, and then the, um, gray thing is just for normal attachments, so you can only have one at a time. But I still wanted to break down the Gladius anyway, um... Because, I mean, it's already at plus five, so I guess we'll just put the, I guess we'll put the dagger back on this one, um, so we can have something to work on off screen, so, and I think that's it. Um, Zhao, I, I was, I started leveling after Wind Slingshot again, so I could have something for level two whenever, um, uh, because I got Beast Slingshot at, um, uh, um, at the next uh, level, at plus, or at uh, a level up at that point. So I'm going to actually do a one, two. Actually, it's probably better to wait to see if we can get a times. Actually, I don't even think this ever gets a times two. Not that I'm aware of anyway, but I'm going to keep Zhao on her wood slingshot and just keep beefing that up for a bit um, until, she, until I get her more uh, equipment and stuff like that. So, all right, let's chase that man and see... Uh, See what he has to offer. Hmm. It looks like he has a little abode here. Yeah, like a hunter or something like that. Whoa. <laughs> the, the next line out of his mouth is, Ah! I broke my kneecaps! Or something. Uh, oh, yeah. What? Who the? Aha, you. You must be that monster that ruined the village. I know I'm right. You can't lie to me. That face of yours, it's a villain's face. Get ready, the hood's coming. Enough already. Yeah. Anyway, we get a duel against this guy. 
I don't want to purposely lose, though. Yeah, we don't. We technically lose, but he doesn't beat the crap out of us, but we still lose. You're not as tough as you look. Come back anytime. I'll dig you on. Hmm. I thought he saw us at a threat. Shouldn't he finish this off? Hmm. And Tone's like, that was weird. Yeah, dot, dot, dot. And Shadow's not here to comment, so. Actually, I don't. Yeah, you can't switch to, you can't switch to anyone on the main menu. You can only do that in, um, or on the field. You have to do that in the actual dungeon. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at his house since apparently he doesn't want to fight us anymore and he's letting us inside. Let's see what he's got. So, anything? Ooh, we got a pocket. Yeah, if you, um, if you fail to beat him the first time, you actually can enter his house. If you win, you can't enter his house for a while until, like, you hit a certain floor of the next dungeon. So, I think that's all. Actually, I think that's all in this place. What do you want? Go home. You're too much of a wimp for me. A boy on a tree, huh? I think that was it. I'm, I thought there was, like, something else you could get, but I must... Let me, uh, X everything just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, that's it. So, let's, uh, take a look at what we, what we dropped. Ooh, we got the pouch ability, so let's, uh, equip that. So, yeah, we get, uh... We get an automatic upgrade to our pouch, which I think you have to hit like level nine or something like that of the next dungeon to finally be able to get back into his house. But no, you can just fail on purpose. Now, the only problem with failing is you have to wait till a time change um, to ant antagonize him again. Like you have to wait from, like we just hit day, which means I have to wait till day or till evening occurs or whatever till we can uh, encounter him again to uh, um, challenge him, so. Just seeing, seeing if there's anything else around here. No, I guess not. So, all right, I'm gonna wait for the time to change, and then I'll be right back and to uh, show you. Actually, whoops, I actually got turned around there. Um, I I'll yeah, I'll wait for the time to change, and then I'll uh, be right back uh, to encounter him again. All right, buddy, who's up for round two this time? Yeah, I see you there. Not finished yet, villain. Want to fight again? Yeah, I'll beat you this time. Or you better quit now. Oh, you better quit now. What does that do? Does that just mean you back off? Oh, I knew. Hmm. Oh, well, there you go. It just means you don't want to fight right now. Okay. <laughs> He's just more like, why did I even do that? What was the point of this whole thing? So, all right, let's go back. So the wait for the time to change, all I did was go to uh, options and change it to speedy. And uh, that changed it pretty quickly. You might be able to actually, well, I've heard it has to change. It could be you could just walk back in. So um, since I didn't actually fight him, I think I can walk back in. I know there is some conflicting information out there, so I don't test every single variation and everything. So, all right, let's try to be in this time. I know I'm pretty bad at these, although I think the last time I did, I actually did. Uh, no matter how you chart, you'll never beat me. Let's do it. Evil spirit repeller. <laughs> but yeah, I'm usually pretty bad about, about at these, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that was easy. Huh. Now it seems kind of pathetic in hindsight that losing to this guy. See, you're kind of strong. Hmm. Okay, that was it. We didn't even do anything. No, we just dodged him. Look, I'm not out. I'm not out by a long shot. My stomach's killing me. So you just wait until I'm better. See you then. That's your excuse. Hmm. And hey, I'm always saying this one, so you better listen. My name is. My name is what? My name is Goro Hellion of the Woods. Yeah, let's leave him at that. Yeah, if you haven't already guessed, he's the next companion. Anyone with a unique... Well, actually, most of the characters in the game have different sprites, so never mind. Goro. But yeah, he's going to be the next companion, but it'll be a while until he actually joins us, so... Dot, dot, dot. Wait, he dropped something. Hmm, what's this, I say? We get the Hunter's Earring. I mean, I'm not I'm not one for jewelry, but uh, well, let's see what the whole thing about this is about. Let's enter the Matataki Village again and see. I like the theme to Matataki Village. Actually, I like most of the themes of this this whole game. So, 
So let's see what this whole... Oops. Oh, oh, come on. Hmm. What's this? Actually, this is the doorway out to uh, the next uh, area, so... But, uh, what's... Actually... Is it actually in our inventory, or is it... No. Nope, it's not even in our uh, main inventory, so... Oh. What is this place? Why does Legend of Zelda come to mind? Hmm. Nah, that's probably no reason. Triant, in its current state, it's helpless without water. Jiminy Christmas! Where'd you come from? Popped up like a gosh darn jack-in-the-box. Triant is a tree fairy that controls the water elements. Without water, it seems like speaking uh, it seems like speaking is difficult for it. Toad, you are on your own. You on your own must connect the river that was cut off here at the Manataki village to revive Triant. Triant will then surely do aid you in your quest. This is a village which I saved with Atla. The village would be revived if the Atla could be found. The Atla are probably scattered around the Wise Owl Forest. You can enter the forest by opening Matataki's gate here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like how in the picture it shows is not from... It looks like it's from in-game, but it looks like someone took a camera picture of it and then posted it on there instead of it being an in-game photo, if that makes sense. I'll open the gate for you. Go and see what you can find. Listen, Toen, make the river your priority. Connect the river to save Triant. Got it? All right, I've got the plot now. I've got my explanation for this one. Bye, dude. Wish you quit watching me. Fairy tree, the fairy tree Triant has dried up. Water could possibly revive it, but we do not have that. I mean, we have some water, but we, we need to put water in the river to fit, feed it. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's head on back and head on into... The, are the Wise Owl Forest. The Wise Owl Forest is slightly different. Well, obviously, each dungeon has a different mechanic to it than the previous one, but I'll go over that when we actually enter the Wise Owl Forest. So let's go see. Actually, what is our current... No, not our items. Yeah, we've got a Drance Feather ready to go. I said I usually don't have a Drance Feather on me, but I think, in, I think for a Let's Play, I think I should have one on me just for the purposes of... Um, speeding up things a bit oh there's the hunter's earring i don't know why it was anyway hearing it lets you understand the language of the forest people hmm. can you actually equip it nope no it's just an inventory item hmm. all right way to way to waste up space all right meta i think that was his name again anyway the wise owl forest Let's enter the first four, or in this case, territory one. And so, because we're going through the forest, so we're not going through levels like a dungeon. So, I mean, we're going through a dungeon. You know what I mean? Territory one. But yeah, this uh, the Wise Owl Forest obviously has the random generators. All other. Ooh, got the cannibal plant there. That is a plant-like creature. Uh, let me look up its uh, what its drops. Uh, it is a plant. So obviously, plant buster is what it gets if you use an item on it, and you can possibly still steal a minion from that. Oh, and we got another creature, a uh, gnome. This one's called Friday. Um, Fridays can, let's see. Uh, they do not have a stat specifically, so they're not like plant beast or whatever. They're their own unique stat being gnomes. Um, no known stealing or uh, um, uh, drops from them. So anyway, yeah, these are gnomes. Although they look more like red caps to me, just the, the fact they're so aggressive, at least in fancy anyway. All right, and then we got the cannibal plants. Yeah, plants. Uh, if you have plant busters and stuff like that, no, I'm not aware of the um, what they're weak against. Like, uh, oh wow, this guy's not even that hard. I'm just being dumb about this. There we go. Yeah, a whole new set of enemies, and yeah, this this whole dungeon. Most of the enemies in here are plant based. There are a few other types, mind you, but anyway, we get the entrance. Well, that's important, I guess. So you have to change it up a bit. So if you've been getting plant stuff, this might be the best way to do it. Although, really, you probably wouldn't have gotten many plant drops till now. Because this forest has more... Ooh, we got the metal banana if we want to heal but get, but still be hungry. Or thirsty, I mean. Yeah, cannibal plants, if you're up close, they'll 
melee you with their vines, and then if you're too far away, they'll uh, spit on you, and they could possibly give you the goo status. The goo status. And then we got we got Saturdays here, a different type of gnome. I mean, they're still the same type of creature, but Saturdays they can um, unknown what they can uh, drop or steal. At least not that I'm not. Ooh. Looks like you got a set of boxing gloves. Like, come. Oh, I stole something from me. Yeah, the uh, the gnomes have the possibility of, if they hit you, they have the possibility of stealing stuff from you. Ow. Jeez. I am doing really bad at this. Then we get a red berry. It's one of the. So, unlike the previous cave where you had to. Uh, I'm actually going to have to heal. Um, yeah, that was really bad. I should have just gone melee with. Uh, or ranged with uh, Zhao just to. Do some damage on him. We got a potato cake. That's a obviously a fishing item. Um, in the territory here, unlike the Drans Cave where you got keys, you get one of three. I well, yeah. Uh, ooh, we got the mustache key. That that's like the bone key from the previous area. It helps you open specific doors. Um, so you get one of three items in the uh, um, dungeon. It's the ow. Oh, dang it, guy! I'm doing really bad in this dungeon. Yeah, gooey stats. Uh, delays your movement a bit, so maybe I should have equipped the. Oh wait, no, I think I took the goo amulet. Wait, did I take the goo amulet off? I mean, it's a bit too late now, but yeah, I'll to leave it on there. So, um, and unfortunately, I don't. Ha oh wait, no, I have soap. I can remove that. Yeah. Yeah, let me put the amulet on so I can actually have it active just in case. Oh, uh, we got Annie. And you get your gun? No, not quite, but close. Yeah, I gotta be a bit more careful in this dungeon just because I'm being a bit, uh, a bit reckless. Because these guys are a bit, I wouldn't say super dangerous. Because, like, the fact that I'm even getting hit is kind of pathetic. Because they're not that fast or, or, super dangerous if that makes sense. You know, comparatively to the previous dungeon. But, but here we can use the mustache key on this door. But yeah, it's similar to the bone key from the previous area. It just helps you get to other areas of a dungeon. All right, these are Thursdays. Uh, Thursdays, could possibly you could possibly steal antidote drinks from them. And like their other co gnome cousins, they can um, uh, they can steal stuff from you, possibly. Oh, yeah, and Thursdays can possibly throw um, poison apples at you. So you have to be a bit careful on that. And if they hit, uh, obviously, if they hit you with their poison apple, they, ugh. Sometimes the camera angles in, in, these, in this dungeon is a little heinous. Oh, oops. oh, there's just one of the second items. You can get the pointy chestnut. There's one more to go. We don't have to get all of them because what you need for the, the to leave the dungeon is randomized. So you're not going to, oh, we got a sign. Yeah, so you're not gonna know until you actually get there and choose the different items and see which ones actually will actually get you out of the dungeon. So, so usually you want to get all three items anyway, just in case. You could get lucky and grab one, find the exit. Ooh, we got a mushroom mask, um, and just see if if you got lucky. But yeah, you know, who knows? All right, what's in here? Uh, stairway, stairway to heaven. All right, this is a Wednesday. He's got a axe he's going to hit us with. Uh, he can possibly draw, or you can possibly steal tasty water from him. And yeah, each each uh, gnome has a, well, they're named after days of the week, and they all have different weapons and abilities uh, different from each other, so, which obviously are different, but, but yeah, like I said, most of these guys are fairly easy to dodge, so yeah, let's see what this one is. Oh, we got the, the map! Ooh, we got a healing pool. Excellent. Yeah, I took way too much damage in this dungeon already. All right, let's see what's in here. Ooh, got some, got some weird slow down there. Oh, I got the branch. A branch? All right, I guess we have a branch. Oh, and there's a back entrance we can unlock. Unfortunately, I don't have the item for it. Uh, you need an item called the Sundew, and that tends to, like the tram oil, tends to be kind of hard to drop. So, uh, oh, no, I always have trouble getting, like, a lot of those to drop. Let's see, there's Friday. What'd you pop from? Uh, pop up from uh, Get Smart or something like that? Eh, nah, nah, nice. Got a shiny stone. That's the third item to release the dungeon. Uh, get out of the dungeon. 
So I don't know why they added a light three item sleeve in the I guess they were trying to be different per oh, yeah, let me show off the Drain's feather. Yeah, look at that. That's fast, man. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna have to try to find a way to have a Drain's feather on at all times for recording purposes if I've just so we can actually get through the dungeon faster. The only problem is it does eventually wear out. You see how I'm going blue there? If I start flashing like really fast, it means that the feathers are about to run out. So I try to like spread out my use of the uh, feather. So I'm like kind of uh, not using it all straight up if I don't have to. So that way I can make it last a little longer. Anyway, we got some premium water, which heals more than the tasty water. Uh, amazing water of the fairy spring completely quenches thirst. So completely, completely. Yeah, I think the tasty water, I think that works is it's either three or four blocks of healing and then premium water just completely fills up no, no matter how much is left. So yeah, it's like regular water, tasty water, and a premium water. Yeah, there's the uh, the thing, but yeah, we don't have a, a floating leaf glowing mysteriously. Use the sun dew to get through it. So. Luckily, these guys aren't eating through my endurance too much, too badly. No regular water. I could always sell it. Okay, we're done with uh, that. Yes, yeah, since we can't go through that, so let's uh, let's get to. Ooh, here here's the guy. Here's the keeper of the dungeon, basically. So he tells us uh, tells us what we need to leave. So it seems like it wants something. So yeah, unfortunately, there's really no way to tell. It's just random. So all right, let's just go with the uh, shiny stone. No. Okay. Seems like you're kind of wasting my time, dude. But all right, chestnut. Really, I choose the, the the final one is the the one he needs. All right, fine. The red berry. Yeah, and he goes. Woo -hoo. I don't know why we can't just cut down those vines ourselves, but okay. All right, let's leave the dungeon though. Usually, I'd keep at this point since we don't have to worry about going back to the mayor to get like repair powders. Um, I could possibly go through multiple dungeons back to back although there's really no reason to do that as far as i'm aware of so uh we'll uh pair it oh it's almost about to hit a level two but uh let's see what we got before we we could probably do one more floor so we got a mushroom house um i don't have the my exact setup for it so i'm just gonna put the mushroom house somewhere but i will change it later so and yeah as you can already tell this map is completely different from the others just like in terms of how it's placed instead of just being one long square and then you have to deal with like uh, Ori built rivers and stuff like that. So now some of the requests are gonna be uh, different from previous ones, so. Uh, does anyone actually go in that house? It's a lot of, uh, has a cheerful wife, a cheerful hubby. Is that, what was it say for her? Annie, cheerful old woman, same mask as Rose. Does she work? Oh, she does go there, excellent. Then uh, we do have a sign, so we can put that there. And nothing else, okay, well let's, uh, see this person and see what they have what their whole thing is rose huh must be an old married couple's uh, shop or something like that or hunters at least from the bear traps are concerned hello miss oh i haven't seen you around here hello i'm annie nice to meet you oh i'm I, i'm telling this only to you there's a big tree switch in the forest and you and you press this to open the door but it's so big that just pressing it won't do i'm trying to open it myself Young man, I heard a rumor that killer that killer snake was killed. Is that true? Well, he was a killer snake, and it is ironic that he got killed. I hear that in the deep end of Wise Owl Forest lives a great old hermit of the forest. I wonder what he's like. Hmm. I don't know. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that one. Do you know that Fudo had a son? But who's Fudo? He's a good-natured boy, just like Fudo. But ever since Fudo left, he stopped talking to everyone. Poor thing. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Okay, you're repeating now, so let's go. How should I rebuild Matataki Village? Let's see. I'd like a high place where the view is good and where it's breezy. Okay, what'll happen when it's complete? My husband has was saying something about a real fine. Go and ask him. Well, we haven't brought him back from the break yet, so what do you need for your house? We need a second floor. Restore things there. We have so many things we need to find room for. So you're pack rats, basically. Gotcha. Yeah, unfortunately, I used to be like that. I still kind of collect stuff, but not on the scale that I used to. Up high, huh? I wonder what she's talking about. Oh, oh camera wants to be naughty today, huh? All right, anyway, back to the uh, back to the dungeon. Yeah, we can do one more floor. Yeah, unfortunately, now we have to actually go to the map 
Instead of it just automatically taking us to the dungeon, now we have to actually choose it because we got more locations now. So, yeah, we could get a second level going. Why not? Make some progress. Yeah, since we didn't do any progress yesterday, so or last episode, so. Alright, oh, we got the Flea Fleas. These are plant-based creatures. Uh, let's see. They can possibly steal antidote drinks from them. Okay. Yeah, they can uh, They can uh, hit you with, like, their goo or what, whatever that, like, powder is, which I think puts you in goo status. Ah. Ow. Ooh, okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm doing pretty poor in this place for a place that isn't that difficult, so. Okay, so I'm trying to... Yeah, I don't... I don't think I ever saw a times two from a, this, but I'm gonna lay it off. So how's uh, I forgot what the build up I wanted to do for this was. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was the thunder one, thunder beast, magic, and steel. Okay. Uh, let's do. Yeah, let's just do Thunder and, or Magic and Beast, so. Oops. Alright. And then put those back on. Probably heal it here pretty soon. Actually, probably should. Let's see, how many powers do I have? Yeah, I can go ahead and heal it. I don't know why I went through that whole screen. I could just go to the weapons menu and heal it that way, but whatever. Oh, we found a... Oh, we already have a pool here. Nice. I guess I got lucky. Yeah, I really need to stop being so brash about, like, fighting stuff, you know? Alright, got a Monday here. He's got a spear, it looks like. Oops. Walked right and let him just stab me on that one, so... Let's see, what did uh, Mondays have? Sorry. I don't, I don't have all these memorized off the top of my head, so I have to hold up a list for that. Uh, Mondays, um, they could possibly steal tasty water, and yeah, they're on their own beast. Or they're not beasts, they're their own creature, so they don't have a specific type. Probably better in this case, since I can't, like, multi-attack, since I can't multi-attack them for comboing, so. Oh, we got money? Alright. Yeah, now we actually care about money. We got a plus one magical power, alright. What's in this one? All right, torch. All right, I can torch. I can. I can torch that. Let's go ahead and heal before we leave. Just. And the lucky thing about having the drain's feather in a location is that I don't have to worry about accidentally using a bomb item or something like that by pressing square on it. So, which is nice. I hate. I hate accidentally wasting items. You know, I could. I, I could have used on a creature to get like a, you know, a. a a monster weakness drop or something. So I got another mustache key there. All right, yep, another flea flea. I mean, I could just like let a uh, Zhao handle this and get her weapon up some more. Although she doesn't really, her weapon isn't really big on the plant based stuff. Guy, got guy keeps trying to headbutt me. <laughs> Ooh, red berry. All right, not take long to get. Although usually I'm gonna end up just killing everything on a dungeon anyway, so I'm not really worried about you know trying to get something and then get uh, get to the exit. I only do that if I'm playing it off screen or if I'm you know about to run out of stuff or something. Then I don't want to redo the level for some reason. So. All right, one more time. Yep. All right, cool. go down and see what's in here. Alright, we get a gooey peach. Uh, interesting enough, gooey peaches can actually be used for fishing, and there are specific creatures that'll, uh, or creatures, there's specific fish that do, uh, what we got? Oh, we got a sundew. Now we can go through the back end. I don't know if I'll do that this episode. I might, I might save it for another episode. Oh, actually, maybe we'll switch to Zhao for that one. There we go. I anyway, got the pointy chestnut, but yeah, I'll probably I'll probably save the back end for another episode, just because I don't want this episode to be super long. 
Yeah, I got a cabin in the woods there. Ooh, uh... Do I want to step on that? Ugh. Like, ever since that one time where you, where I got the... It removes almost all my weapon HP, I, I've been reticent to ste step on one of those. It's actually not so bad, the early dungeons, you know, but when you get to, like, the... Ooh, the Wise Owl entrance. Uh, but when you get to the very end of the game, um, when that that could happen in a dungeon where you're almost out of repair powders or you're out of escape powders for some weird reason, which I don't know how that ever happened, Baron's house, nice. Um, well, sometimes you make mistakes, like going into a dungeon without a repair powder, but uh, it happens, it happens. But yeah, I'll, I'll save the sundew for another, for the next episode. Although, I mean, it's not like the dungeon layout changes that much, it's just you just fight tougher creatures, that's all. But I still want to show it off like once per dungeon at least. Oh, got a, oh yeah, I never showed you what happens if you don't pre, ch uh, change it to Zhao. Toon can't jump this, but then how does he join on the journey? Because clearly she ha he has to get across too somehow. Whatever, magic. That's all we're going to call in this case. Oh, right, it was over here. I got more soap. Eh, just in case we get gooed by these plants again. I mean, technically, if you know how to play this game, technically you should, should almost never get status afflicted. But it's one of those things, like most things, it's, you know, sometimes accidents happen and you're just like, oh, well, all right. A cannibal plant. And a lot of these uh, areas are, like, very confined when you think about it. Just uh, the way that they're... Um, so it, it definitely is a little bit harder to dodge here than it did in the previous dungeon. At least I feel like it's harder to dodge here sometimes. Even if they're just about the same size. Yeah, what do we got in here? Mr. Mustache himself. Mustache! 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 Okay, there's the exit, but we don't want to do that yet. I always want to clear everything out before we leave, so nope, nothing here. So back the way we came. Zoom zoom and a zoom zoom. Not multiple. use my, my charge attack to try and like jump at them but uh, yeah we're fine oh there it is mr mustache i do have a mustache myself but it's not a very good mustache i'll admit oh there's a tuesday he, oh he can uh poison you as well but he doesn't throw poison apples yeah the um if you have an amulet if you clipped it to your active inventory it'll automatically take the first hit so you don't have to like press a button or anything like that but the bad thing is it automatically gets lost as soon as you use it but that's what they're there for so just in case you're not paying attention anyway tuesdays can possibly drop antidote drinks or sorry you can possibly steal antidote drinks from them but anyway let's uh let's uh fight him off as quickly as we can we don't want him to get too far away his big thing is obviously that ah, um oh ouch ow dang it <laughs> all right switch to joe Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking this crap. All right. Ooh. Here we get the final item, the shiny stone. Hey, we finally get the map. All right. You know, it looks like we're low in water, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run all the way back just to just to parch myself. So, we'll uh, we'll just go to the exit. If I really want to like, like uh, try to not waste tasty waters, I could always just go back to like the first floor of the of the Drand cave or divine beast cave to see if I could find a pool and just reload if I don't so all right what do you want this time let's try the shiny stone again first it better not be the red berry again is it always the last item I give him or is it just I'm just getting that weird randomness to it picky owl at least you're not as creepy as the owl from Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Yeesh. All right, anyway. Or uh, Link to the Past, or not Link to the Past, um, Ocarina of Time, that owl is also very creepy as well, so. Well, we started our journey there. We've learned of, of uh, Goro and, well, that he's in the village, and we saved a land, uh, lady and her, and her shop, which a very odd shop indeed, as you can see there, being mushroom type. What else will we find in this crazy dungeon? Pixies? Fairies? Who knows? 
But join us next time as we continue through the Matataki Village in the Wise Owl Woods. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.